not sure what really would have caused a delay from April to September. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, go on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Why people so bad mind? I don't mean me call the name now show up on the right hand of the screen. You know, it's not me. Big up my members them. Oh, no, no, go stop. See me, I big up my members them. Big up all of my members them. Yes, see them the people. See them when you can look for them name. Go on and go look for them name now. Yes, those are my members. But may I big up all of my supporters and my viewers them same way. And may I big up every member to the My View TV family. Yes, big up all of them. But hold on a minute then. I can talk to my people them for a second. I want to look on the screen right, right, right now. Yes, I go and show you something. Clansman. Yes, this are the Clansman organization structure. Do they feel like you know a full-fledged organization clansman did that run? See the organizational chart there. Guess who make all the list to people? All the dead man they make a list to you know the man they will pronounce make a list you know? Yes, every single one of them they on the list. But I can't tell none of this. Remember me tell you something, I'm going to put it together. Yes, I'm going to week two and review. So all that for us wait for that. Don't bother rush the news, people. Don't bother rush the news. It makes no sense every day I come and I tell you, say, clangs on this and clangs on that. No, 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 no. Other important things are in the news. So let I give you that first before I talk about them, all right? So don't need to worry yourself for later. You're supposed to get everything we're going on. You can keep up to date it. Panda. But I can go to some news now because I know the news are now wait pan. Because if me not go on it, I don't not get it nowhere else. The Kingston Western Police has charged a suspect in connection with double murder in Trenchtown three months ago. Kima Francis, 27, otherwise called Not Nice, has been charged with the fatal shooting of 23-year-old Evelyn James and 16-year-old Damar All. Yes, people, remember we talked about that? Yes, we did come and we talked about that. On June 13, the two individuals were at home when Evelyn and men stormed the premises and shot them. Yes, people. Shot them dead. Seeing the superintendent Michael Phipps and of the Kingston Western Police told our news team that the suspect has been identified in the case and are being sought. Make I tell you something. I slap him, should I slap him, you know? Oh no, should I go slap him, you know? Come and tell me about charge. We never want to the charge. You know? and every single day, you know, come on the blame. Indicum, but Indicum, and this, Indicum, and do that. Speaking of Indicum, somebody asked me yesterday. My view, why go off Enzinga case? Well, I'm going to talk to Indicom right now. Indicom, come here. Come, come tell me and the people that go off Enzinga case. Yes, we need for no, we need answers or investigation to come along. You can be assured that we have interviewed, received written statements from the complainant and family. We have interviewed officers at the Four Parts Police Station. We have recorded statements. And where the written statements are provided, the interview provides further opportunity for clarification, explanation, etc. to be provided. Our teams inspected the cell that Ms. King was in, and all those materials are now with our legal department. While, again, we understand the timeline that they public would seek to impose on the matter. We have to ensure that our processes are thorough and complete. There are instances where statements are given and we may need further statements or we may need initial statements. And in many instances, we have to accommodate postponements to facilitate the witness with whom we are seeking to interact. So we could not just abort the process in the interest of expedition and sacrifice thoroughness. And that is that where Enzinga is concerned, my people. So don't need to worry yourself. I go for light phone. You understand? I'm still there in the com now. Cause in the com is saying that they have received almost 60 complaints of assault involving 19 members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. 57 complaints were made to the commission last year. So the big red man of the people them don't like. The deputy commissioner, Hermish Campbell, yes. I got chat to him. Yes, I make him tell him exactly what I want. 17 of those 19 officers 
were the subject of multiple previous complaints. And a pattern emerges where some officers are frequently and repeatedly concerned officers, and it's their action and behaviour the subject of complaint from many different citizens, all of whom seem to be describing the same pattern of behaviour and alleged abuse. And that phenomenon can't really be reduced down to um, isolated in situations. And that is what is required to be looked at. The above mentioned 19 officers have a cumulative total of 57 assault allegations made against them in relation to discharge of firearm, shooting incidents, fatal shooting incidents. One officer was in the report identifies anonymously subject of 22 complaints between 2012 and 2021, uh, five of which were assault. It's incumbent upon the JCF to examine the multiple complaining officer. And while some such instances of use of force would, of course, be legitimate, in aggregate, they remain disquietingly frequent and requires an internal administrative action to address and determine this apparent disproportionality which is occurring and is observable. And a similar pattern is observable, and we have reported before in the officer involved in multiple shooting incidents over many years. It's not where that is concerned with people. Hold on for a bit. From the other day, we see people that complain and I say, wait, no good news can come out of Jamaica. I no good news can come to no Jamaican. I say, a joke on the making. Just wait, no man. And me not talk about the latter. Nobody know when the latter yet. But this lady, she get the jackpot right now. So I can't tell no where I go on. A court in Guyana on Wednesday awarded a 56-year-old Jamaican woman millions of dollars. Yes, people, millions of dollars in compensation after she was illegally detained in a prison for eight months. I don't want to think send a whole heap of money for another line up put a little thief in front for go rob the woman when she touched backyard. No, 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 people. I have all the figures for tell you no. I mean, know somebody has to see a chicken feed. But I can't tell none of this. It's more money than what she have. Anyway, I can continue. Acting Chief Justice Roxton George awarded $3.1 million to the woman who was identified as Sandra Russell. Yes, people, Sandra Russell get paid some money. Her attorney, Darren Wade, filed a lawsuit against the state for breaches of Miss Russell's fundamental rights for freedom after she was imprisoned by members of the Guyanian police force. The Jamaican woman had asked the state for 10 million for each day she was unlawfully in custody, more than 20 million for the inhumane and degrading treatment she faced in the lockups, 20 million for breaches of her freedom of movement and 50 million for false imprisonment. There's so much money she asked for and when it all boiled down, a cheap point one she get, she had no star slap in the face. Miss Wasser was detained at the police station in the capital, Georgetown, shortly after being released from prison after serving a sentence for trafficking narcotics. She said she had become depressed and stressed since the ventilation at the station was poor and she had been forced to sleep on a thin mattress on the concrete floor. In 2018, yes people, 2018 Magano, Russ was sentenced to 8 months in prison and fined 135000 for possession of 70 grams of cannabis. Yes, her sentence was later reduced to three and a half months. However, in November 10, 2018, Russ was released into custody of a female immigration officer who told her that she would be deported to Jamaica. Imagine this long smile upon her face. But guess what? But that never materialized as instead she was kept in custody of the lockup and released eight months later on July 7, 2019 on $10,000 bail. Lawyers representing the state had asked the High Court to dismiss the application claim that the Jamaican consulate in Guyana could not ascertain Mr. Russell's identity and links to Jamaica. After all the Russell got through, Russell deserve more money. One of the things people be honest with me, I should get what she deserve. I don't know enough, but I can't tell you something. A lot of times when you take up on yourself and say, nah, go over here, son, go over there, so because when you feel over there, it's a better rose. No, 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 no. Not in every case. I will land it now. Remember the toll of Nicaraguan where they be catch? Yes, in a year problem time, there. yes, but we did talk about it. Right now, them still there, Jimmy, carrying up wage bill and light bill. I'm telling you the truth. Waste where waste of time of them in a prison. I see them family member come out on a ball. Even them come out on a ball and say, yo, I lie to them and tell. Them never have no COVID. Where them are the ass along? It's a box. Them should have sent no back in. Say what I said and I mean what I said and I not take it back. Not for the time I will not care. Look at nothing thing them in your country. Come out of my country. Jamaican government, but I tell you something. Start sending them back in a box. Start send them back in a box. Just pack them nice and send them right where them come from. But I'm going to hear them about I'm going to talk to the police for something. I'm going to hear them behind bars of all. I am not sure what really would have caused a delay from April to September between Tika 
na kajit and in Nicaragua. Actually, it was to, it is today that they are indicated that all the paperwork for their return should be ready. The only test they make, they make could be is, is like two days after the call we them them take a look extra and hand take like with DNA out of our mouth. But myself asked me to have anything to do with the COVID test and them tell me no. That is to come for our DNA with the boat to them get hold to see if to find any evidence of anything like, like guns or cocaine on the boat and nothing like that. And this up when they hold them and carry them behind bars on the door, slap them with them get up and come out, come start chat beer nonsense. Me can tell you no something. Once you no see them I see, slap them with. Yes, drugs and guns them are taking out the islands. Slap them right away. And they not even have to bury them, you know? Just want them body and that shit in the sea, man, make you wash, go back which part that come from. Return right to sender. Yes, people. Me be honest with you, know? Said what I said, and I mean what I said, I mean, I'll take you back. Tell a friend, tell another friend, come, come, check us out. Remember, little boy, we're going to give you the full week two of the clansman, Dan Chayla, holy, patting a go on right for the heads, the people, so don't worry. Stay tuned.